I can do, sir, please. Don't do this to my wife, man. You don't know what you're doing to my family, man. Please. I'm begging. I'm literally begging. Where am I going to put my feet? Sir, I'm begging. Please. 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 That is not a crime. And you're telling me to get out of my vehicle. Do you know where Lieutenant Mingus is right now? So, no, he's not in the building? I'm not. What do you know? I'm not telling you nothing else until I find out who's driving that vehicle. You not a supervisor, bro. I need somebody higher than you right now. Uh, if you didn't know, I went to the police academy and they kicked me out. That's my purse. I don't know you. Spit me on my face right now. She spit in my face. Today's video takes us to Lacey, Washington, where we find a frauditor walking about on school property under the guise that he's received a report of defective school buses and he's concerned about the children. Yeah, right. Let's all sit back, watch, have a good night for most of all. <laughs> Enjoy. How's it going? Good, how you doing, man? Good. Good. How you doing? I'm Duran. Yeah, Steve. Steve, nice to meet you. What are you, what are you up to today? Uh, just working on a story, actually. Okay. Um, did you get permission to be here on property, school property? Uh, no, I came in on the gate on the other side. There wasn't any signage that said couldn't be here. Uh, so. Yeah, I, I think that's kind of a Tim known thing, you know. We don't want you to get hurt for your safety. Oh, so. yeah, that's why I'm standing back here. All right, so, yeah, but I'm going to have to ask you if you wouldn't mind going out to the public road out there. I think that would be a little safer for your safety and for everyone else here, you know, kind of. No one knows you're here, so it's kind of stranger danger, you know. Sometimes we have kids around here, so um, if you want to, you know, come and take pictures, that's totally fine, but I think we need to get you to get permission first, you know. Um, so I'm gonna ask you to go and step out on the main road there. If you I, I guess I'm just a little confused. Like, what's what's yeah. making this not okay to be here? So because, like, like I said, we don't know who you are. You say your name is Steve. We have kids here all the time. You just can't walk into a school. We have kids here too. So I'm, again, I'm gonna ask you one last time. If you don't move, I'm gonna, I'm gonna call 911. I can tell you right now, sir, he's not gonna move. So you might as well go call 911. But not to mention creepiness. This is dangerous because our kids today face all kind of dangers. And who knows who this guy is? He's masked from head to toe. I mean, look at this guy. Come on. If you wouldn't mind stepping over there, please. Yeah, I mean, if you want to call the police, I just think that's cool. I'm of, uh... totally going to do that right now because okay. I, I don't think it's cool for you to stand here. Um... Yeah, I'm just kidding. I'm, I'm working on a story about supposedly some dilapidated buses that are uh, danger to people. Yep, so can you please just step out there for me real quick well, and I, we can again, talk about I, it? I, I, there's okay, no so, signage okay, Can so, you point so, to some signage? So, so now I'm a school district employee and I'm trying to keep you safe. I'm trying to keep our district yeah, safe no, no, here. Yeah, that's why I'm standing over so here. So again, we have kids here sometimes and so I don't know who you are. Hi, my name is Duran Bozeman. Hello? Hi, I'm at 6620 I'm at 6620 Carpenter Road at the bus barn. I'm here and there's a man named Steve here that is um, here on district property. He won't leave. He has a camera here. He's saying he's taking pictures of dilapidated buses. I've asked, I've asked him nicely about three or four times now to go to the main road and we can talk. Yes, I'm an employee here. I'm the supervisor. My name is Duran. Yeah. And again, I, I Duran, D-E-R-O-N. And his name is Steve. He has a body cam and a couple cameras here. He's on school property. I've asked him to leave a couple of times because, you know, we have students here sometimes and we just can't have people that we don't know taking pictures of, of buses here without, you know, getting getting cleared first. Oh, Sonny Boy here doesn't care about all that. He's exercising his First Amendment freedoms here in America. But he won't be exercising them for long. Let's continue, shall we? Sure, yeah. Um, he's a Caucasian male. I, he's got a mask and he's got a hat. Um, I'm bad with ages, but I'm gonna say he's about 45, 50. <laughs> Damn, man, I'm 30. He's <laughs> 30, sorry about that, man. <laughs> he's got glasses on, a um, mask, blue jeans. No, it's it's kind of like a it's kind of like a, a mask that you to keep your neck warm, you know, in the, the winter. It's honestly a little chilly to me. Yeah. Um, blue jeans, a green like windbreaker. We have students here. I have no idea who you are. Yeah, sure. Um, I think our conversation's done now. I think I'm just gonna wait for law enforcement. Okay. Well, like I said, I was just wanted to mostly get information about these buses. I asked the lady over there that was uh, washing off one of the buses. 
and she said she was surprised to hear that there would be any concerns over dilapidated buses but i got some tips and leads that were saying that was the case well of course there are no dilapidated buses that was just his excuse to get onto the property with his camera now this extremely long video i think it was like 48 minutes so we're gonna have to speed it up to when the police arrive roll their clip 10 minutes later i asked him to leave a couple of times and he refused Okay. Well, let me chat with Steve for a minute. Sure. Yep. We'll, yep. How's it going? Sorry. Yeah, how it's going? Is it so, Sergeant Haynes? No, Corporal. Corporal Haynes. Oh, Corporal. Sorry. Sorry. So, what's three, going yeah. on? I'm working on a story. Okay. And you're a reporter? I'm an is investigative journalist. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. What I tried to show, I think his name is Gerard, the the gentleman in the uh, red sweater shirt right there. Okay. What I was trying to show him is, uh, you know, there's no restriction on access to this place. Okay. So, you're talking about with the like postings or yeah, I fence mean, being closed. I came over here. I got tips and leads that there were condition issues with some of the buses. Okay. I'm assuming by parents. Okay. Uh, I didn't really inquire into their nature of relationships with sure. kids, but they basically said, hey, I've got concerns. There's some buses that got some real rust issues like on the floorboard and that kind of stuff. And they're gotcha. basically saying it's like kind of bouncy, cracking, that kind of stuff. Okay. So after I got several, I thought, yeah, I'll come here and check it out. And Oh, yes, indeed. Gather content for your lame and pitiful YouTube channel, Sony boy. Nobody wants to watch all that garbage anyway. What are you doing? Oh, that's right. He's a First Amendment freedom fighter. We don't have a First Amendment here, and he's fighting for our American freedoms. What a bunch of bloody palava. You know, see if that's really the case. And, you know, I mean, obviously, it's there's signs that say, hey, we're, on, we're recording you. Oh, fair enough. I mean, yeah. it's a government. Well, do not enter and... Well, that's a but <laughs> that's that's a tragic I get it. Thing. So you but you want to see the buses is the idea, right? Yeah, and I uh, you okay. know I was in the midst of it. Probably only had about another fifteen minutes to gather content, and uh, Gerard there showed up and said, uh, you know, you can't be here. And I'm like, what's restricting access? It's a publicly available public space. Okay. So. Well, so i'll go talk to them um is there still something you want to see with the buses or yeah really what i need so to do I just so you understand i i don't care if you want to see the buses or anything i'm not here to limit any of that it does have to be arranged with the school district if you want to see buses or get on buses or or whatever i'll go talk to them about that um and see if that's something they can facilitate now or if you need to arrange for it later on well now, we all know that the frauditor does not want to make an appointment to come back later. He's there right now, and it's his right. It's his freedom. It's his constitutional right. At least that's what he says. Let's carry on. 11 minutes later. Steve, can I get your information real quick? I can't give that to you. Yeah. Okay, so um, I've got a phone number. I can jot it down for you, and that's how you arrange to see the buses. Um, let me grab a card. I do have I'll a question for you because it's really important about my next steps in, yeah. in my conducting my story for the day. So are you saying I'm trespassed from this location? No. What I'm telling you is that if you go back here, you will be trespassed. I'll be okay? arrested. And that can result in you being arrested. The, at, the public is not allowed without contacting the district to just come in and wander around the area where the buses are where they could have students that are here for various reasons the same as a school if you walk into the school you can go into the office you can't just wander the hallways and this is a school facility so it's the same kind of thing there's a gate that you can access their office here but these people wouldn't schedule you to come do a news story or check up on that it's a oh do tell this sounds like a federal lawsuit Get your checkbooks ready, good people, because he's going to need $405 to file his federal lawsuit. Our community relations department that would, and I have a phone number for them. Let me grab my card. Well, hold on. And that I, way you've got it. I'm confused, though, still about something, which is you're, you're impeding my free press liberties right now. No. You're telling me there's no, something no. that instructs you as a police so officer that I can't be this, here. What is This that? facility is not open for you to just wander through you How haven't you identified that? yourself you said that you're with the press nobody right. knows that okay so you you haven't gone through any of the normal channels to contact the district 
so you can't just wander through the property. Do what you I'm want, asking you, do you though, want is the what is instructing you me? as a police officer that I don't have the ability to be here? Answer my question. Law? Do you want that phone? I'm, I'm not interested in that. What I'm interested okay. in knowing is, as a public servant, you're here to help me just like you are them, right? right. Is that this, true? This is not open to the public to wander How through. Do you, what is leading you to okay. conclude that? How many more times will the corporal have to say it's not open to the public, no trespassing? How many more times do you think, good people? Well, I don't know. Let's roll that clip. It, the same thing that would lead anybody to conclude that they're not allowed to just wander. Social norms aren't school, laws. Corporal school Haynes. social property. Social norms are not laws, okay? It's if posted an on the front that where? it's a they just told me that it's supposed to go out there and you can take a look. Whoa, hold on yeah. a minute. Hold on so, a minute. So you're telling here's me, the Corporal Haynes, that inadequate signage at a lawful entrance point I'm not going is prohibiting to, me. I'm not going to get into an argument with you. I'm just going to tell you. Okay, so what you're going to you do is you're going to impede my civil liberties just because you're choosing a side okay. and who gets application of the law and who so, doesn't. I'm not going to argue anymore with you over it. Do you want the phone number? Well, no, I already I will, said I don't I'll want provide phone. you with that. What I'd like is actually okay. At this good public point, service. I get that you're saying you're going to arrest I'm, me if I enter back in there. I don't have anything else I can pass on to you. All you're doing is arguing with me about it. Oh, I do apologize, Corporal, but arguing makes for good content. Nobody wants to watch the video if everything goes smoothly and he just left like you told him to. He has to argue a bit. And then he's going to go down to the police station and file a complaint on you. You understand needs. what I'm trying to do is actually have you honor your oath and actually stand up for my liberties yeah. just as much as you would for so, them. I, I would like a supervisor, please. You can stand by for a supervisor. Right. I'll let one know. Okay. Okay. But I I passed on to you. You can't Corporal be back Haynes, on you've the made property, a very okay? poor choice today. Okay. So if you have any questions, you need. To I do need a card if I could get one. A business card. Do you have one? Do you have a business card? Yeah. Okay. I told you I'd give you one. Oh, right there, sorry, right? I didn't hear that. Uh, I'd like that trespass warning. I'm going to be, uh, yeah, let's just get are that. Are you going to identify yourself? I no. need ID to write down who you are. No, you don't. 90, 50, okay. 2, 70, 80, so, 105, and 115. So you've been verbally that. advised that you're not allowed to be Some back trespass. there. Okay. Yeah. On okay. that, on the secured property. Yes. So what I'd ask is that. Now I you still want contact from completed. a supervisor. I do. Absolutely. Okay. I and need what a phone I'm number for you. I don't have one. There's two things that a frauditor will never admit to having identification, and having a telephone number. I'm surprised they live indoors, or maybe they don't. Okay, call in the Lacey Police Department, call that card when you're available, Corporal and Haynes, let the supervisor what, know that you want What is contact. going on here? What's up with the hubris? So, it, What's up with the hubris? Do you want a supervisor to contact you? I'd like a supervisor to come out here. Okay, I'll have a supervisor respond. You can hang out here. Okay. Okay. Seriously, what what is up with the violation no, no, of, of no, no, the no. Washington State Don't, Constitution oath? I'm not going to do this federal. with you. You you clearly know what's going on. Okay. Uh, yeah, as in I'm an informed journalist. You've been told there's nothing else I can pass on to you. So you've officially trespassed me. All right. Wow. So we're just going to have to head down to the Lacey Police Department, square this away. So uh, until then. Well, the lad goes down to the police department and the supervisor listens to his sad tale of woe, but they don't do anything about it either. Because you should be on school property, you pervert. What's wrong with you? What's wrong with these grown men going on to school property? That's creepy. And then to film it and post it on YouTube? Oh, boy. Well, at any rate. If you enjoy watching stupid people do stupid things on my channel, please subscribe. <laughs> As always, thanks so much for stopping by, Creepy Fraud Editor. You get more creepy with every video, boy. I'd like to see what's under that mask. Cheers to that. I've actually studied English, and uh, I have a, over a 400 level education in English. I'm not sitting down. I refuse to sit down. I refuse. Big tough guy. Big tough guy. Big tough guy. What are you gonna do about it? Nothing. Nothing. You can come trying to make me. 
you're welcome to try to make me. Take a swing. Take a swing. What is the reason for calling the officers here? Oh, no I'm reason. Really, I'm really, I'm really unhappy that somebody did this to me. We're gonna arrest you for trespassing in a minute. On um, public property? Yeah. We're asking you to leave, and you're not leaving. That's trespassing. She's, she's right in my face, guys. You can't t come up and touch me like that. You don't have permission to film me in any space. I don't need permission to, yes, to you record do. you in public, man. Actually, no, that's the law. Do. Oh, is that like a law? It's against the line. Oh, what law is that? Funny, because I've never heard about that. I pay for that uniform, I pay for that car, I'm the taxpayer, right? You work for me, right? You're just a little guy. You're just a little guy. You work for me. You are a public servant. You are a public servant. You work for me. 